Tonight, we're learning more about the moments leading up to a police officer pulling his gun and killing himself inside the police station. While no one will ever really know exactly why Sergeant Kevin Blakely took his own life, we have learned that the police officer was not cooperating with an investigation. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska has been following new developments all day and is live in Euclid tonight with more. Paul? Well, Lee, the mayor would not confirm what News Channel 5 first reported yesterday that a source told us that this investigation focused on cash allegedly missing from the police evidence room here in Euclid. But the mayor did, did, did give out more information as he read from a prepared statement. We will get through this together. With his voice cracking, trying to fight back emotions, Euclid Mayor Bill Servanick read a statement about how Euclid Police Sergeant Kevin Blakely was being investigated by several law enforcement agencies. Servanick said when Sergeant Blakely was asked yesterday morning by the police chief and several supervisors why he wasn't cooperating with the investigation, the 28 year police veteran killed himself in front of his colleagues. At the outset of this meeting, Sergeant Blakely suddenly and tragically ended his own life with a self-inflicted wound from his police weapon. Blakely worked in narcotics. Servanick said Blakely was being investigated by the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department at the request of the Euclid Police Chief. The FBI was also helping with the investigation. News Channel 5 learned that Blakely was being investigated for missing cash from the police evidence room, but Servanick would only say that certain records and property logs were not being maintained by the standards required by the Euclid Police Department. An internal audit was performed and it confirmed that irregularities did exist. City worker Jay Tucci, who is friends with the Blakely family, switched out a tattered flag flying at half staff in Blakely's name with a new flag today. Uh, it's very sad. It was a good guy. Um, you know, part of St. Christine's Church. He was very active over there and uh, just a great guy. Uh, not a bad word to say about him. Uh, like I said, only he knows. So uh, rest in peace. Now, Jay went on to say that after St. Christine's closed here in Euclid, that the officer was still heavily involved in the church his family joined in Mentor, where he lived with his family. Now, despite this uh, tragic suicide, the prosecutor's office said today this investigation will continue and it must continue to get all the details so they can bring this investigation to a conclusion. Reporting live from the Euclid Police Department tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.